My name is Dr. Duhua, and I'm from Vietnam. I was born in the war zone, and I was born in the early 60s. I saw the terrible killings and destruction of the war when I was just a little boy. I witnessed the brutal acts of the communists throughout my childhood almost every night. I heard the sound of the machine guns and explosions. The war had thrown the life of poor families into complete turmoil. My mother had to work so hard so our family could survive. The communists of North Vietnam have caused the killings and destruction that burned in my brain. They have no regard for peace and for the life of the poor families. Even though I was just a little boy. But I remember very well during the New Year holiday celebrations of 1968, they took advantage of the people who were completely unaware and they launched a massive attack against the people of South Vietnam. But the communists failed to realize that the people of the South were strong and brave. The South Vietnamese and the American Air Force stood up together, pushed back the barbaric demons. They decisively defeated the com communists in the Tet Offensive. 1968, to follow the path, the path of my brother and sister had been fighting for, the path of freedom. I still remember so well how our men and women fought for freedom. My Vietnam veterans, I saw you there. You have been in my village scouting and fighting the enemies. I saw you standing tall, heroically, with the South Vietnamese soldiers defending us against the communists. I saw you helping the sick and the injured Vietnamese people. I saw you protecting my village and making me and all the children laugh. You brought freedom and security to my village. You are our angels. I know you were serving and fighting for your country, but you're also fighting for more than 25 million men and women and children of South Vietnam. Freedom is not free. My Vietnam veterans, thank you for showing me that you have so much humanity in your heart. And thank you for showing me what freedom is all about. I know I was blessed and lucky to have a place to escape to. That place called the United States of America. The last stand on earth. But I'm not just coming here to follow you and say thank you. I came to tell you, in December of 1987, I was so proud and happy to become one of you. As soon as I have studied so hard and learned how to speak, read, and write English, I joined the United States Navy. My dream came true. I joined the United States Navy so that I could serve and give back my new great motherland. Yes, I was standing tall side by side with my fellow service men and women to help protect our beautiful and decent world of free enterprise and democracy. I was so proud and happy to serve my new country on the magnificent aircraft carrier CV-66 USS America. What a beautiful name.
mind. I have gone through the most struggles and seek for freedom. Then I fought to protect it. I realized that people should not take our precious freedom for granted. I therefore wrote the book, The Escapes and My Journey to Freedom. My dear friends, I draw the book through my eyes. This is a story of life and death, good and evil, hardship and fortune, and the most important thing of all, this book will tell people, freedom is not free. I would like people to understand the real faces of the communists of Vietnam. I also need to tell people the other side of the Vietnam War after the fall of Saigon. My Vietnam veterans, I saw you there and thank you. I couldn't thank you enough. More than 58,479 members of American armed forces and more than 300,000 of Vietnamese armed forces had paid their ultimate sacrifice in fighting for freedom of Vietnam. May God bless their souls. There were more than 662 Amer American prisoners of war in the Vietnam War. How could you ever begin to imagine what our BOW go through with the barbaric communist of Vietnam, the brutality of cruel, ruthless of communists, called great pains and sufferings were far beyond any descriptions. My BOWs, thank you for your service and sacrifice. There's almost then 3,000 missing in action. Decades have passed, but I knew the agony are still with their families. Today, I would like to thank to all those brave souls who ultimate sacrifice and make the world a better place for all humanity. My Vietnam veterans, the United States military never lost a battle during the war. The United States military definitely did not lose Vietnam. The United States military left Vietnam on the order of its politicians. My Vietnam veterans, thank you so much for everything you did for us. Please be proud that you step up and serve your country in fighting for more than 25 million men, women, and children of South Vietnam. My Vietnam veterans, thank you for letting me have this opportunity to speak with you today. But this is just my voice. This is the voice of the entire people of South Vietnam. You are as always our hero. Please accept this grateful word from our heart and our souls. Thank you so much for your service and sacrifice in fighting for a morale and noble cause on our behalf. May God bless you. Thank you and welcome home. Thank you and welcome home.